Hi, I'm Richard from PageFly. You want to create a sign-up form for your pages to turn visitors into subscribers by filling customers' emails into the form. In this video, I will guide you how to achieve that by using Klaviyo Sign-Up Forms app in PageFly. To get started, you need to install the Klaviyo Sign-Up Forms on your Shopify store. Please check the link in the description to install the app. Before using the element in PageFly, you'll need to enable and configure Klaviyo Sign-Up Forms app. Firstly, please go to your Shopify admin, then navigate to Online Store, click on Theme, navigate to Customize, and select App Embeds. You can search for Klaviyo on-site JavaScript and activate it. Now let's navigate to Klaviyo Sign Up Forms app to configure some settings. After installing the app, you need to fill in related information. When completing all of the relevant information, you will be moved into Klaviyo Dashboard. Just on the Klaviyo Dashboard, scroll down to the Sign Up Forms option. Click on the Create Sign Up Form button. There is a modal for you to create the sign up form. In the type box, remember to choose the embed option. For the device and goal boxes, you can choose the options you want, and then you can choose one of these templates. There will be a pop-up showing, choose your subscribe list, and click on the Create Form button. Click on the Behaviors option and copy the code. Finally, you need to publish the form. Now, it's time to add the form in PageFly Page Editor. Before starting to set up for the Klaviyo Sign Up Forms element, you will need to add this element onto your page canvas. Click Add Third Party Element on the left menu bar. Search for Klaviyo Sign Up Forms element. Toggle this button to enable this app. And drag and drop the element into the page editor. After adding the element, you can configure this element in PageFly. From the General tab, there is a widget configuration giving you a short explanation of the Klaviyo app, its link to the app listing, and the box for embed form ID. Let's paste the ID that we copied before here. You can customize the styling like margins, borders, and effects in styling tab. Don't forget to save and publish the page to check on the live view. And here's the result. This is the end of the tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe our channel to get more videos. Our friendly and knowledgeable team is available via live chat 24-7 to assist you with any issues. Thank you for watching.